Yo, what's up, Sexy Sam Lander Squad? Today we're doing a Ranked one one I want to go ahead and immediately apologize for my nose. I've been waiting for it to try to clear itself, and it just isn't. That's just... My nose is just stuffed. Pollen is through the fucking roof in Georgia right now, and uh, I'm... Pretty allergic to pollen. What are you staring at? As it turns out. So, uh... Yeah. That's what's happening on this front. I apologize. Anyways, it's tryhard Thursday, which means I'm tryharding. Uh, you might have noticed that I have a master's border on Cupid. Um, you're seeing that the first time as I am because I didn't know that I had that. It's pretty sick, though. I think... Not only did I guess correctly it was you, I had no idea you played Cupid. I didn't either. Until yesterday, actually. Um, <laughs> uh, but I like Cupid. I made that video of him two days ago, I think. And, uh, and since then... I've pretty much just been a Cupid main because I very much so enjoy how much numbies he does. He's gonna invade me, it seems. I don't know, cause where is he? He wasn't doing a buff? Oh, he was doing a buff, he's just really slow, okay. He definitely outclears me, which really isn't cool, but it's also like, you know, whatever. Because while he outclears me, I outfight him. So, it's alright. I don't really care about what damage he does to me because I'm just clearing wave, brother. Darn dang it. <laughs> he has Aegis, but it's already down, so I'm just gonna dash alt in. I think. I think he's dead. Nice. Well played. He already aged when I fought him earlier, so I knew that uh, I just got the the alt on him. It was gonna slow him enough to confirm the one, which it did, and then he just popped like a zit because there was nothing else he could do. Backed, got tier two boots, and in time for the red buff. Pretty good first game so far. That whole, like, healing thing that he does on my wave, uh, if he did that on his wave, it would be really annoying. So, as far as I'm concerned, keep doing it on my wave, not yours. Damn, he's so close to dead. Quite unlucky. Did he hit me with his ult, by the way? I think he did. If he did, that was a really good ult. I'm actually just gonna back. I was gonna go for the wave, but... Nah-ah, dude, nah-ah. Get this transcendence.
Yo, Cupid is high key slept on. Am I scared of him? That's gonna stun. Not that it matters much, I guess, but it does good damage, you know? Does this do more damage if I have stacks? Yes, it does. Oh, I really thought it would be there. Well played, gamer. Alright, so my boy's got his Aegis again, which means I cannot one-shot him like I would like to. That was so well played. I stunned the minion, and uh, when he was in range of the stun, well, okay, I so I won the minion, and then I started hitting him so that the minions would take aggro to me, so that him getting closer to me actually means that he's getting closer to the stun that I put on the minions, on the minion wave, and uh, basically I comboed the stun into the alt before he could Aegis. Because he didn't think the stun would hit him. Big brain plays. Actually meant to do it. Ah, oh, I couldn't get the stack on that boy. It's alright. Would not be surprised if he altered this, but he didn't. Just gonna last hit right now. So one thing I've learned about Cupid is he can do this a lot because you have so much healing with your two that it actually doesn't matter that you tank four or five tower shots because you can heal it back so quick. It's honestly ridiculous. Oh, I missed. I kind of want to... I'm gonna ward him just in case he decides to go for the alt. Ooh, you cleared my wave that fast, buddy, huh? I missed. for him. Oh, I killed it too fast. Alright. 
My flick did not work there. Oh, my slow was much harder than I expected. Oh, my gosh. My nose is absurd, dude. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. My nose. Um, I think I go Toxic Blade here. This is healing. This is a little bit annoying. By a little bit, I mean, like, by a lot. I get super annoying. I'm gonna see what his relic is. If it's not sprint, then I'm buying horrific. It should be sprint though, because it's good for Cupid. Or good against Cupid. <laughs> and I get tower here. He did go sprint, okay. Keep an eye out for me. It's gonna be pretty difficult for me to get Bull Demon. Where is he? He's right there. That didn't hit. Alright, let's get a sprint. Oh, he didn't sprint. How did that one miss? Oh, gosh. <laughs> He's just gonna keep running, I think. How did that one miss, dude? I'm losing it. I think... He's coming right over here. Nah, he slowed himself a little bit by going away first, which means I think I get this for free. Assuming his ult doesn't hit me. I don't know, he's just going for tower. Fine by me. Your middle tower has been destroyed. Oh, that's so annoying. Uh, whatever. Fuck this wave. stun so he's gonna run away I don't really care so I'm just gonna auto this all right and that means we get Phoenix 100% all right perfect perfect I do have 2600 gold Slow is so strong. I guess I'll back. So, because of the fact that he's kind of just running at me, I'm going to go into Thorns here. And obviously I'm not going any defense because he's not going any defense. I guess that's kind of just like a respect thing on my end. If somebody is losing and they still don't go into defense, then I definitely won't go into defense. It's just because I... It's just the way I play, I guess.
Damn, I do so much damage. Holy shit. I could 100% be dead right now. So, I'm gonna run away and wait for my heal to be up. Sick heals. Alright, he's dead here. Damn. GG, brother. GG, brother. Alright. Fun first game. I actually didn't know, like I said, in the beginning of this game, that I was Masters Cupid. So I'm definitely going to go look at my record. I don't know if I've lost on him or not. I feel like I have, but I don't know. Hi. Alright, so let's look at this uh, Cupid. I have lost with him once. Dude, these guys play a lot of Cupid. Am I the only... <coughs> oh no, this guy's got a Master Board too. Did I see Zexit? Yo, Zexit plays a lot of Cupid, huh? That's a, that's a viewer of mine, I know him. Pretty cool. Alright. Now we wait. And while we wait, be the only thing I know how to do. Like clicker heroes. I just uh transcended. So I'm a little slow right now. A little on the slow end. Thirty-eight K. It's pretty good. I need five is that five? the six minutes left? see this boy it does help my damage quite a bit it was 500 guilds though you know it was 5k worth of guilds so i need 150 more i think if i get golden clicks so i can do it what's my rate 34 percent treasure chest chance yeah i need to uh Hmm. I need to get this stuff up, dude. This stuff needs to go up. Like the skill cooldowns, that needs to be a hundred percent. But I think it's okay. You know, it's just the start. It's it's my first. This is my first ascension on a new transcension, and I got to eight k. So it's all right. It's all right. I think I can push. During this, during this uh, transcension, I think I can push 45, maybe 50k, which will be amazing. That'll be so sick if I can do that. <laughs> Poseidon ban. It's pretty normal. Hey, are we making cookies today? Am I making cookies today? I can. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> hey. Making cookies, boys. <laughs> All right, so. Hey, baby. You know I have a master's border on Cupid? It's wild, right? Yeah. Alright. So, we're gonna play Hades now. Basically, I'm just gonna cycle through my master's borders today, I think. So I got I got Hades, I got Cupid, I got Onher, I got Fenrir, I got Kamazots, I got Poseidon, I think. I got Odin. Uh 
I have another one, but I can't remember. Oh, Freya, I think. Freya? Maybe? I'm cycling. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just cycling. All right, this is going to be a scary game because he has 50% anti-heal built into his kit, which is spooky. So I'm not sure if uh, this is the play I should be making, the the whole, like, going to Bancroft start, but that's what I'm doing anyways. By the way, the reason I, I see a lot of people comment whenever I play Hades, a lot of people comment, why do you pick up Thorns? Because it's really dumb. But uh, your alt, you get a, at level 5, you get 60 base protections, as well as you already have a normal or a large amount of protections to start with as a mage. So you actually get like a lot of use out of thorns if you use it and then alt. That's really annoying. It's really annoying that he was there. I thought maybe he would be, but darn it. <laughs> he gets four off this wave because he got the blue. Oh, he didn't. Okay. Does he have dash? I don't know if he has dash or not. I don't remember. Okay. I'm cool with that. I was going to fast back anyways because I want a buff, you know, so I'm just going to do speed. Um, but my goal was to fast back regardless. I didn't think that I was going to be able to get a kill on him without blue buff because I used too much mana. So, it's alright. I mean, a bit of a slower start in terms of Hades, but it's, you know, it's what it is, I guess. You can't always have the perfect start every game. That'd be absurd. Oh, sick. Sick. Oh, so gamer of you. Oh, that hit. Oh my god, dude. That actually hit me. I can't believe it. That was max range. That was that was the peak of range. The peak of max. That's so obnoxious. By the way, I'm literally never going to be able to ult him. Because Medusa has no reason to dash on me. Um, So I have no reason to ult, pretty much. The only way I'm going to get him to alt is if I catch him off guard, which is not going to happen often. I just got a text. Alright, he's got his boots online. Am I bothered by his boots? I don't think so, because I got Bancrofts online, so... The boots don't bother me. He also has three ways, by the way, to get out of my alt. By alting, by using beads, and by dashing, so. Okay. Okay. I expected him to dash out. I could go for a kill right now. Maybe. Uh, he'll probably just alt. I was gonna go the long way, but I actually think this way's fine. Yeah, he just backed. <laughs> I think I might go. I'm I'm definitely losing this game right now. No doubt in my mind. I'm I'm on the. The worst end of this. So I think I might go breastplate here. Let's 
second item. If I can if I can farm another 800 gold before backing, which that's a big if. Because uh, he's going to be aggressive with me pretty soon. Should be able to get this. Right. I was gonna go for the alt, which is what I was saving my mana for, but I I realized while saving for the alt that I might die regardless. So I just dashed over the wall, like. I, Saving for the, like, alting him right there would have definitely been the, the, uh, the more risky play. Would have been the more, like, frame-perfect kill if I got it. But he still had beads up, so I feel like I wouldn't have gotten it. And, obviously, there's that risk that I was just gonna straight up be dead. So, I just went over the wall. I don't know, it's, it's kind of a bitch move, but I think it's the move I had to make. Dash away. Alright, now we get his beads. Uh, so ward is blue. So we can see when that's up. So I'm just farming, man. That's all I'm doing right now. Just farming it up. There's not really much to do in this game. I mean, Medusa plays really safe, and uh, Hades has to play really aggressive, so it just seems like he's pretty good at running away, and I'm not that great at chasing. I guess I go tier 2 boots now. I could wait and go for those minis, but not a big deal. He's still ahead of me in gold and in XP. I mean, obviously it makes sense. He got a kill on me, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I can never fight him, can I? Get his dash. Okay. Can I one shot this? Got it. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Uh, let's push this tower a little bit. I don't like, I don't like this play that much. 
pushing tower instead of backing finishing boots and getting like you know something else but i think taking tower here is the right play against medusa because the later she gets the scarier she gets and that scares me obviously so yeah grab this i'm just gonna go typhons i know like like I said, I know he has built an anti-heal in his kit. I also didn't get a second relic because he didn't get a relic yet, by the way. But uh, I, he has anti-heal in his kit, so I know going... Like, stacking lifesteal or healing or whatever is not necessarily good. But with the new buff to Typhons and the 10% pen, it's pretty strong no matter what. And it's a lot of power, so... I want to go Polly as well. Kind of want to go Divine against that Aussie though. Get his beads here. I think he went straight for a red buff, probably. Did he? No, he didn't. He probably just backed then. He just backed. Alright. Typhon's 1400. I can afford it now. Damn it. Let's go get Typhons. I'm down for it. Uh, he got Cursed Tonk, and I'm going to go Blink, I think. Uh, if this was like an Aegis or something, then I wouldn't have gone Blink. I would have gone like Shell, you know? But because that's not anything that can keep him alive, basically the plan is like Force his Dash, and then Blink on him. Or... If I can, just catch up to him. Alright, he went to clear the wave there, which was the smart play, but I don't know if it's enough. Oh, it's definitely enough. Ow. But I got Typhons. Alright. Well, I'm full health again. <laughs> full HP, boys. Yo, Hades is so abusey. Okay. I, uh, by the way, the only reason I did that is because I wanted him to run away so that my minions can do damage to Phoenix. Which means I can do damage to Phoenix like this. Good play. Ouch. Oh, he wasn't feared. He didn't get feared. No. No. <laughs> the fear was like, it was right there. It was on edge. Darn. Darn tootin' that fear. Now, I either go Polly or Divine. I think they're the same cost. I think because I'm at Titan now, Instead of trying to like siege Phoenix, I go Polly instead of like going for the win on uh. Your middle 
like the win of the fight, I go for the win of the game, you know? Because Divine wins the fight, because he's got Aussie, but Polly wins the game because it gives me a lot more damage. And it's got Life Seal, which gives me more damage on the Typhons, you know? Uh, I actually could use 10% cooldown. There we go. Now we just push, and then I think the best play here is explode his titan with minions, and then alt it. It's like the absolute best play that I can do, I think. So his minions will be spawning soon. And I want to be here. I want to group them up. And I want to Yaga Yeet them, and then alt him and the titan at the same time. Okay, that was big kill. Uh, GG. GG. He had to choose between trying to kill me or trying to kill the wave, and he couldn't do both, and I'm way too tanky because my ult gives me, at level 20, I think 180 protection, which is pretty nutso McGee if you think about it. Uh, where is it? No, this is 80s. I go here. How do I look at abilities again? Oh, oh. Duh. Uh, it's 160 protection. At level 20. Like when, the, when your alt is max rank. And it shreds 30 protections off of them too if they're blighted. <sighs> I gained 10% damage mitigation as well too. Damn. You gain 10% damage mitigation and 160 protection. Of each, by the way. Not just physical or just magical. It's literally of each. That's incredible. That's so nuts. That's so wild. Hades is busted, man. I'm telling you. Hades is too strong. How much, what's the time on the video? Almost 40 minutes? Damn. I think I can only get one more game in then. Unless it's like a 5 minute surrender, then maybe I could get two? Maybe, maybe, maybe. I'm hungry, dude. I'm hungry. Chat I got. Um, donuts yesterday. And. For those of you who don't know. I used to be a bodybuilder in, in college. And I. Have a lot of muscle. And. Um, which means by the way. My metabolism is really high. Because it has to go through things to. Basically, what I'm saying is I can eat a lot and still lose weight, and I don't know why, other than muscle. Um, but yesterday, I ate about 4,000 calories worth of donuts, <laughs> and then another 1,000 calories worth of uh, curry rice, and I lost a pound, almost. So, yeah, this quarantine's going great for me. I mean, I, I hate it. Don't get me wrong. It's the worst thing in the world because not going outside is slowly rotting my brain. But, um, you know, I have lost weight during it, so I can't complain, I guess. Did you guys hear that? That was my stomach, dude. That was my actual stomach. That was my real life stomach. Oh my god. That was so loud. What do I play? Uh, I don't know what I want to play. I kind of want to play Vulcan, man. Uh, My entry deserves a cutscene. Oh, I got demoted to a diamond border on Finner. I'm a terrible human. 
Could go Kronos. I like I've been I've been liking Kronos recently, actually. I've been liking the Kronos recently. Dude, is this her up? Or is this Git sticker? Who is this? Shadowfall. I've been finding a lot of Mercury's recently, man. Mercury's making a comeback a little bit. Now don't get me wrong, I don't think he's S tier or anything like that, but he's not bad, like straight up. I straight up think he's not bad. Let me get beads. And a lot of people are like, um, what's up, brother? A lot of people think Mercury is really, really good, and I, I think he's way better than he has been in season three, four, five, and six. I think season seven is definitely his closest to season two he's ever been. Uh, that being said, I just think he needs something more, you know? Alright. You said hi. I think he might be a little bit starstruck. I think, uh, I think he maybe knows who I am. Not a bad trade. The toss under tower was nice, and honestly that auto attack block to make me take a tower shot was pretty nice. And honestly I'm a little bit scared. Okay, honestly I'm really scared. Wait, I actually want him to dash me so I can beads it. Dash me, come on. If he dashes me, I can kill him. I'm going to use my 2 for health regen, which by the way, health regen is this top thingy. He is level 5, so he's more than likely going to try to ult me. So, I'm going to stand over here so he can't ult me and back and get my Bancrofts. Golden Blade. Good item. Helps with clear quite a bit. Is he doing red buff? He should be because I'm late, but uh, I don't hear him. Maybe it's because it's already done. Let's see. Drop the ward here. It is already done. Well played, sir. I heard it drop, by the way, which is you're wondering how I knew that. Did I just see him at red buff? Or at, at blue buff? That was really weird. Why was I able to see through the wall just now? <laughs> I saw his health bar pop up over the wall. Oh, he had mana for the dash. Ow. I actually kind of want him to ult me. Is that weird? Because I think I win the fight. Even if he gets boots, you know? Even if he gets tier 2 boots. Aw, oh, man. I nodded too fast. My one. My one missed. Good clear though, damn. Alright. 
do the blue buff. Get the boots. I'm gonna go a full lifesteal build because, I mean, I've already said it before, but it's in the meta right now and it's actually really good. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna go. And if I can finish this video or this this game in like five minutes, I might be able to do another one. But I don't know. It doesn't seem like he's gonna give up, which is good, by the way. Yeah. He ran all the way. Using my two for regen again. He should not have his alt back up, but he does. Okay, wow, that scared me. Alright, no big deal because... Well... I'm at the same amount of health I was before, and he's down one alt, so I'll take it. I was going to go do those, but it would take too much time, and I think I can get tower if I don't. I'm suck, dude. I'm so suck. How? Punch me for a lot of damage just now, brother. Yeah, this lifesteal build is wild. You just heal so much. It's like every single fight, you lose it, you win it, it doesn't matter. You're full health after one wave. So, who cares? I got it. Ow. Oh, he's gonna alt it. Oh, he he actually used alt. I thought he wouldn't use it because a lot of Mercuries will do that. They'll just like clap their hands like they're gonna use their alt, and a lot of times that just makes people stop chasing because they're like, ah, oh, shit, he's just gonna alt away, and then they're able to run away while still having the alt, you know. But he actually used it. I kind of want some attack speed, but I know that Typhon's is the better play right now. Too much power. Too many power. <clears throat> I'll ward right here to see if he goes and checks it. Clear this. Gives me Typhons on my back. And I am currently unfightable. Did you know that when you buy this now, your ward stays and your relic's not on cooldown? Fun fact. I just figured that out. That's really cool. Because it used to be on cooldown and it was really obnoxious that you would buy your relic and it would just go on cooldown. It's like you get punished for using the free ward they gave you, which was kind of toxic. Um, he gets these, by the way. Like, he 100% of the time steals Bold Demon from me. Oh! I really thought that would hit him. Are you going to ult? You better ult, brother. Oh, close. 
I saw him start punching this, by the way, which is why I uh, I opted to not clear the wave and run immediately over to this. <clears throat> you know, I'm fighting a Mercury. I don't know why I'm not just clearing wave and like hitting tower. Oh wow, that was aggressive. Oh. Fast, fast boy. Fast, fast boy. I was under the impression that I could kind of troll that fight and still win. Serves me right. Sam the douchebag. No way are you building crit. Okay. Okay. He's building crit. That's not good because I just build Hide of the Nemean and uh, mid guardian mail and then you punch me and nothing happens except for you take damage and I laugh. Dash away big guy. Alright, I'm just gonna push. I was gonna go for Bull Demon but he's playing Bull Demon really well so I'm just going to push. Alright. Beads is too strong, man. Beads is too strong. I'm getting a phone call? By a scam, likely. No thanks, scammer. I'd rather keep my social security number. Better luck next time. I'm gonna hide behind the phoenix so that when he inevitably ults, such as he did. Um, there's no reason for me to keep, by the way, my alt right there, because like, the only thing that happens is... Wow, he actually stopped going into crit and went to runic. The only thing that happens is... Uh, I maybe bait out like a couple of auto attacks or something, you know? Which I don't really care about. I want that red buff, don't you dare. Alright, uh, we got fire minions, so we won the game, by the way. Uh... Mercury can't do anything against fire minions. He he's never been able to do anything against fire minions. So like, it shouldn't really be a surprise that we just kind of win the game by default at this point. Going that way, huh? Okay. Let me take you to another dimension. Are you backing? Are you backing? Ah, uh, there you go. Oh. My boy. Oh, I really wish he died to that thorns. That would have been such a great, hilarious moment. Thanks. I missed. Alright, now is when my 800% lifesteal comes in handy. I mean, this is just exactly how I assumed it would go, you know, like, I heal the full health after every wave, he tries to fight me, but he can't because fire minions beat his ass, um, he actually crit me three times right there, with 10%, which is why that fight was actually almost close, and, uh, eventually I just win the game because I'm Kronos, and he's not Kronos, 
So, yeah. GG, brother. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, again, I apologize about my nose being super obnoxious the entire time. And um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And, um, you know, I know I don't say this a lot, but um, seriously, thank you every single person watching the video. Even if you're like, if, if this is your first video ever to the channel, um, thank you guys so much. I really, really appreciate you watching. Uh, I really appreciate the likes, the comments. I really appreciate the subscribes or subscriptions or whatever you call them. Um, the people with the bell on that watch like the second the videos upload. I just, you know, I'm really grateful for um, for everything. Thank you guys so much. Again, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys, peace.